All right. Oh, we got something. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh, got something. Little bassy boy. No, it's a good one, huh? Oh, got something. I'm guessing that was probably another. Oh. What's up, Spanks? Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. Today, I'm going bass fishing back at the same spot where I got pwned, owned, and broken off by that big old, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, 12 pound bass. Looking for a little bit of revenge. Uh, I'm gonna, probably not a smart idea, but I'm gonna throw the same lure that he bit on my spinning rod. I got a, another spinning rod and a casting rod. And on that, I'm gonna be throwing some brand new stuff that I just got in the mail from Six Sense Fishing. Let's open her up and see what we got inside. All right. Well, start off with some terminal tackle. Got some divine jig heads, divine swim bait jig head. This is baby shad, three eighths of an ounce. I, I didn't know there was three of them in a pack, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have got so many. Got those. Got some more Divine Jig Heads, also Baby Shad, 3 eighths of an ounce. I've got two packs of Divine Swim Bait Jig Heads, 3 eighths of an ounce, Baby Shad. I've got one pack of one quarter of an ounce Divine Jig Heads and Sexified Shad. Yeah, other than a little color, there ain't much difference there, huh? Pretty much the same color. And I got a pack of quarter ounce Divine Jig Heads Live Shad. I mean, these are pretty much all the same color, so I've got a lot more than I need. Pack of Wacky Hooks. Probably not gonna be using this today. And I've got a pack of Stout Wide Gap Worm Hooks, 4 aught and a pack of 3 aught Another pack of Quarter Ounce Live Shad Jig Heads, I guess. And another pack of 3 aught Worm Hooks. Wacky Hooks. Got a pack of, oh, I've got two packs of three eighths of an ounce shaky head jigs for a shaky worm, shaky head worm. And I've also got the same color black and five eighths of an ounce. I don't think I'll be needing these. Probably too heavy. Whatever. I've got some divine swim baits. Got a pack in platinum white, 3.8 inch. I've got a pack in pro shad. Also 3.8 inches. And then I've got a pack in Pro Blue, 4.4 inches. Probably, probably start off with this one. This one maybe, something like that. I'll throw that on the casting rod. Got two packs of shaky head worms, one in green pumpkin juice, one in June bug red. 6.3 inches, 10 a pack. I've got two packs of green pumpkin juice hog walla lizards. Kind of a new bait by six cents. And then I have the same hog wall of lizard, two packs in black and blue flake. Probably have the most success with this one, I would assume, but we'll see. Gonna throw a Texas rig on my six foot six mock crush spinning rod. Probably end up putting the swim bait on my casting rod. And then I'm gonna keep throwing that top water catwalk by six cents. So yeah, let's uh let's get out there and try to spank some bass. Maybe we can turn this into a fishing challenge. Try to catch a fish on everything I got in the box. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna try tossing this Texas rigged hog walla into these pads real quick. They're following it, but they're not eating it. Let me try something that moves a little more. All right, put the waller away. Try throwing the swim bait in front of them. Maybe they'll eat that. Divine swim bait, divine swim jig. Let's see what happens. All right, let's, uh, I guess try the top water. Maybe that's what they want. Got to give the fishes what they want. Woo, look at how far that thing go. Come on, big mama. Let me save you. Let me save you. Got something, got 
something. Feels like a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Doesn't feel like the one I hooked yesterday, but it feels like a good fish. I think it's a pickerel and not a bass. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a bass. He's water skiing. Oh, it's a bass. Okay. Not a bad one. Not the one that broke me off yesterday, but not a bad one. All right, Spanks, first bass of the day. Nice little two, two and a half, maybe three pounder. Not the one that broke me off yesterday, but still a good fish. Let's get this hook out of him and get him back. All right, you guys. Nice little, uh, nice little bassy boy. About two and a half, maybe three pounds. Get him back in the water. Definitely not the fish that broke me off, but it's a fish. Didn't even catch it on one of the new lures that came either. Caught it on the catwalk, top water. So, looks like we're doing another top water video. Here comes Papa Spankins. Tiny little great fish here, huh? Yeah, there's bass over here too. Yeah, I see some small ones with a nice spin Well, the one I caught was about three pounds. It wasn't that bad. It was right along the shoreline over there. I cast out and let my plug drift over to the shoreline and worked it along that shoreline from here and he hit it. All right, I'll be right back. Good luck. All right, Spanx. I know this pool has bass in it. I saw them the other day and I just saw a nice one now. So I'm gonna try tossing the wacky worm. They didn't want the hog walla over at the other spot. So see if they'll eat the... Uh, Clout worm on a wacky rig. I've never caught a fish on a wacky rig. I've never even fished a wacky rig, so kind of hard to catch a fish on a lure you've never used. See if I can catch my first wacky worm bash. Seems like a tough bite today, and it's supposed to be a tough bite lure, so let's do it. Let's see the bass right in there. There's bass, there's sunfish, there's pickerel, you name it. These fish can definitely see me, so it's going to be kind of tough to get them to bite. Oh, he bit it. It's like the biggest one in the school too. He ate it twice and twice I whiffed. Got him that time, got him that time. Got a bass on the wacky worm, the wacky rig. I've only got eight pound test so I gotta be kinda careful landing this dude. Woo, there we go, all right, cool. Uh, hey dude, what'd you do with my worm? Nice little bass on the wacky worm. Out of this little crick, little crick here. Look at that, right in the friggin' schnozzle. Right in the schnozzle deedle. Nice little chunk of. Probably about a pound and a half, two pounds maybe. First bass ever on the wacky worm. He took my clout worm, but hey, it's worth it. I got plenty of them. Still got five packs of the clout worm green pumpkin juice by six cents. Just caught the biggest bass out of this whole friggin' little puddle here. Huh. Yeah, these bass want nothing to do with that thing now. It was really just that one bass that was interested in it. These other ones, like, never even looked at it, but that one bass was just like, I want that wacky rig clout worm in my mouth. You got anything? Oh, you did? Yeah, I got one on the wacky, wacky worm over there. Any size? Yeah, it was about two, three pounds. It was, it was about two pounds. There was five bass in that hole. 
out of the five of them that was the only bass that showed any interest and i had to cast at him at least four times before he ate it all the way to where i got a good hook set on him stole my stole my friggin worm all i had when i got him in all that was in his mouth was the hook i don't know if he swallowed the worm or spit it out when i was fighting him but yeah i meant to friggin stop back over well, i'll probably still go over there after and ah oh, you dickhead <laughs> Didn't even get him in the mouth, I got him in the friggin' gill. Mm. Little dude. Oh, we got something. Little bassy boy. On the wacky rig. Little dude. Cool. Oh, you little dinker. Oh, shoot. What the hell did you get it on? A fluke? I heard that thing smash. Did it hit top water or something? Yeah, it's a good one. Huh? Cool deal right in this little uh, crick. barely came up and kissed that thing too. <laughs> oh dang. Oh he got off. Crap. Oh that smells. A pickerel I believe. Sure fighting like one. Oh it might be a bass. Sunfish. was a little bass and I lost it <laughs> second one today probably should have put the boots to him a little bit more thought it was a pickerel so I wasn't too uh, worried about losing it there's a big one that keeps following it that might be the one that I caught in the spinner bait last year it's a good fish all right nice little shady cove kind of calm Let's see if we can oh look there's a bed right there boink something. First cast in this little cove, I believe it's a bass. Yep. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. Not a bad little dude. Nah, yeah, about a pound. Same size. Yeah, little one pounder. Decent little bass. Oh, that was a big one. Been a Rooney. Oh, you got him right in the eye, huh? Oh, that's a good fish. 
Could be a good pickle though, so. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I don't think it's a bass. Yeah, and it's not as good as I thought it was either. It's a nice one though. Nice little chunker. Alright, cut it out. It's a chunky little bass. Oh, he's got one in the eye. Okay, let me help you out, buddy. Alright. Nice little bass. Probably about two pounds. Off he goes. You done? Why? See if I can get another one to hit it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Oh, that's a good one. Don't jump. Oh, that's not a bad one. About the same size. Two casts in a row. Nice little two pounder. Doink. Oh, that's oh, a pickle. Yeah. Yeah. You see the bucket marks and all the shinos? Somebody was bait fishing here. No, it wasn't here when I was here either, and that was not long ago. <laughs> oh. Guess that was probably not. Oh. Was that a bass? Shit. A pickle. Pickerel, I believe. Holy smokes, dude. There's a huge snapping turtle down there. <laughs> like, huge. And a pickerel. Yeah, of course. Oh no, it's a bass. Okay. Come here, come here, come here. Get away from that snapping turtle. <laughs> nice little bass. Get away from that snapping turtle. Go, go. There you go. All right, Spanx, back in the trout cave. So overall, pretty good two days of bass fishing. Didn't exactly achieve the uh, goal that we set out to accomplish. Didn't catch anything on the lures I got in the mail. Well, I caught one bass on the wacky hook, but the clout worm that I caught it with didn't even come in the package. So technically, nothing. They wanted the top water, which like I said, not gonna complain about a top water bite ever. This catwalk stick bait in Spanish bone has been killer. So gotta give the fishes what they want. So even though I didn't complete the challenge and I still have never completed a challenge on YouTube, still had a couple of good days of bass fishing. Got some top water footages, spanked some bass with Papa Spankins, had a good time. Now, if you love top water like me, and if you're here for big fish, stay tuned for the next fishing adventure because I just experienced and recorded the craziest thing I have ever experienced since purchasing the GoPro. Big fish, big top water blow ups. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, hit all the notifications. Stay tuned for the next video because <laughs> big fish. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking.